What's going on, y'all? Back for another video. It's me and Shot of Red. We here in the garage. And what we about to do is open up this package. This package came from, you see it, progressive suspension. Let's get into it. Alright y'all, so we are back. Like I said, let's get into this video. We got a package from, as you can see, progressive suspension. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up the package, see what we got. Uh, if you haven't guessed it by now, it's suspension parts. What, pray tell, what is suspension? That's the part you're gonna have to wait till I get the box open for. Alright, so. I was trying to not destroy the box just in case they need to go back. You know what I mean? Stuff does happen. Sometimes you order the wrong stuff. That way we keep it. And, you know, keep it right. Keep it tight, you know what I'm saying? So, progressive suspension we got here the box I'm gonna open it up like that the faux 12 Harley shocks got some stickers who don't love stickers I love stickers I'm gonna put some on the fucking toolbox put them on the ice box all that jazz <laughs> man look at them socks these things just shine in now, uh, I've seen, these are, you know, pretty much like a budget entry shop, but I have heard that they are better than uh, stock. So, um, in the hopes that they are better than stock, we are going to uh, get these installed and then we're gonna go from there. Now, as far as the installation, I don't have no tips for you. Go on the internet, find a video that you best like, and uh, follow the installer person of your choice. Uh, in a nutshell, though, because there will be no install video, this is just going to be, this is what I'm putting on my bike. <clears throat> uh, of course, I know that you have to, of course, suspend the bike um, to where you can you know get your rear shock off um, so I do have a stand I do have my jack where I can jack up the bike take out the set of bags undo one side undo the other side use a jack up under the back tire to kind of help push the tire back up put it back in a position tighten it back all back up and then in a nutshell, that's how the suspension will go, or how it will go. Uh, the shocks, I believe, are ordered were like 11 and a half, uh, because I did want to try to drop the bike some. Now, if I put these on here and they are not to my liking, I'm gonna go up to like a 12, but I mean, it's only like a half an inch difference. Uh, I, just don't, I just don't want it to go bottom out or anything. Uh, so it does come with the spanner wrench, as you can see here. Uh, comes with looks like some bushings here. Everything in the packaging comes with some lubricant. Uh, also comes with what looks to be instructions. Uh, so that is always good. Sometimes when you buy stuff off of eBay or whatever, they don't have instructions. I actually did not buy these off of eBay. I did get them off of Amazon. So yeah, yeah, man, they look good. Uh, even though they're gonna be behind the bags, you can't see them. When I do take the bag off, you know what I'm saying? They'll be like kind of nice and nice and shiny. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, 
So before I change them, I'll probably do like one more like riding video and then uh, like a before and that video will be like a before, before the shocks, before shocks and then after shocks and then I'll let you know if I can really tell you, tell the difference. I know a lot of people are all going with Legends and uh, Olin's and you know, as nice as those seem to be slash are, these are a temporary solution as I do other things with the bike um, and other things in life in general. Um, and then maybe down the line we'll come back We'll revisit and then we'll put a different set on there. But for right now, for like 300 bucks, and they're supposed to be better than stock, then uh, we're going to get the progressive suspension ones a, a shot. Like I said, I did go through and do my due diligence and ask people or jump in the forums, jump in the message board, Facebook groups, et cetera, et cetera. And it's not a lot of people that had. Like some people just say, you know, they it rode too hard or whatever. Um, nobody really said anything about a bottoming out problem. Um, so I figure for the price, I can put them on there. If I don't, if honestly, I'm gonna keep a G with you. If they don't work or I don't like it, like I said, I'm gonna go back. Either go up to a 12 inch to have me a little bit more travel and or, you know what I'm saying, shit, I can return them and then put the money towards something else. And then just save up for that better next step, Olin slash Legends. But like I said, I feel like I did uh, due diligence in my research and made sure that I got the right ones that were gonna fit my riding style, you know, for my bike and then also fit in my pocket book so aka the wallet so um so yeah man i'll let y'all know um probably in a couple days here man after i get these installed and then uh we'll take it from there so appreciate y'all watching the video appreciate y'all tapping in make sure you like comment subscribe share this video with somebody else who may or may not be thinking about suspension um See what I had to say. You know what I'm saying, tell them to come back once we actually do the install, and then we'll figure it out from there. So, appreciate y'all for watching. It's your boy.